All right, what's up, guys? Present. Here we go. Who's all ready? Any of you guys, first to start off, anybody ever heard of Nadex before? Anybody trade? Uh, I know the gentleman before was talking about traditional options in the S&P 500, uh, weekly options, but Nadex is just a completely different product. So if you're excited about uh, the weekly options in the S&P 500, you're going to be real pumped about this stuff. I see a bunch of no's, a couple of yeses. Um, but yeah, Nadex has actually one of my favorite things to trade. It is my, so I have two income producers for trading. One of them is the S&P Futures, that's my number one. Number two, uh, and that's using the S&P, I trade mainly the S&P 500. Um, actually discovered this just out of you know the curiosity of a trader. As traders, we're all entrepreneurs. We all seek, it was the market belt, that we all seek uh, risk and um, new ways of making money. And when I heard about Nadex and I saw that you know they offered uh, different strikes and how it works, which I'll get more into, I decided to fund an account with $250. And this is uh, going back into, I think it was December 2015. And my original goal was to turn that $250 into two grand. I was like, yeah, I could probably do that fairly easily, um, just the way that's this price. So I started an account with $250. I wanted to make two grand by the end of the year, just trading it, a small amount of risk. I actually ended up running that $250 into $18,000 in three weeks. And uh, good news for you, as I recorded every single one of those trades. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, that's a learning lesson in itself that I could provide you with. But yeah, so this is a webinar on how I turned $250 into 18 grand in three weeks. My name is Jack Leeson, this is Major League Trading, and right now you're looking at my trade desk. Let's go to the next slide here. A uh, risk disclaimer, before I get into the real good stuff, I have to disclaim the risk. No representation is being made that the use of this strategy or any system or trading mythology will generate profits. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. There is substantial risk of loss associated with trading securities and options and equities. Only risk capital should be used to trade. Trading securities is not suitable for everybody. Disclaimer, futures options and currency trading all have large cap potential rewards, but they also have large potential risk. You must be aware of the risk and willing to accept them in order to invest in these markets. Don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. And uh, so on and so forth. CFTC rule 0.4.41, but yeah. Um, we all know trading is risky, and I have to disclaim the risk. Anyways, guys, a little bit about myself. This is me on the left-hand side a couple of years ago, uh, trading for a prop desk I work for on the right-hand side. That's me and Tom Sosnoff. Anybody know who Tom Sosnoff is? He's like the founder of like pretty much modern-day options trading, at least in electronic form and for the retail traders. He is the creator of Thinkorswim, which many of you probably do use. If not, if you've never used it, you might have heard of it. Thinkorswim is all the charting I use, uh, all of the software coding that I have customized. It's all based in Thinkorswim, which is awesome because it's a free software if you don't have it, as well as um, they have some of the cleanest looking charts, but you can see that in the back screen. Anyways, I was teaching a class of uh, over 40,000 people with him on the internet when I was only 22 years old. So that was a pretty cool experience myself. And then this is me at uh, PropDesk I worked for uh, when I was 24. I'm 26 now, um, but let's get into a little bit more about myself. Bought my first stock when I was 15, so I was always interested in the markets. Probably like most of you, I realized that the markets is where the money was made, and I had to figure out how to make it. Uh, so I, you know, I researched used to read Forbes 500. I was like, what are these people doing to make so much money? And what I realized is they were all either investors or their money was they're tied, their money was tied to the stock of the company they had created. So I realized all the money was in the markets and I needed to figure out how to do it if I wanted to be successful at the ultimate levels. And uh, so when I was 18, I was able to open my own account under my own name and uh, put about $1,000 in an options trading account. Didn't have a lot of money, totally got some beginner's luck, ran $1,000 and five grand, proceeded to lose it all. But at that point in time, when I was 18 years old, the idea that I could turn a little amount of money and a lot of money um, on my own skill set really fascinated me and I decided to pursue a career in trading from a very young age. I got to study under a hedge fund trader at the age of 20 years old, being in the Chicagoland area, it, uh, you know, where, where you obviously have a lot of finance, a lot of um, some hedge funds out here, one of the bigger ones, obviously Citadel, 
and then a lot of market making firms. The CME is based out of Chicago, CBOE. So big finance center I was able to study under some really, really sharp traders at a very young age who taught me a lot of what I know today. Uh, I got my first job at a prof firm when I was 22. First education class I did was with Tom Sosnoff, uh, founder of Thinkorswim. And then in 2015, I discovered the binary power of binary options, turned $250 into $18,000 and then decided to take a vacation. This is actually a graph of my P&L as I traded that. Um, so I recorded all of this for you guys. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about how this works, but um, what we have here is if you guys want to see the video, so I recorded every single one of these trades because I wanted to kind of like show people the, the trading setups I use. That is what this is about. So let that sink in. Have that increase in PL. All right. This is what I'm about to teach you guys right here. And uh, we're going to be talking about binary options. For those of you who have never traded binary options before, so has so anyone never traded binary options, never heard of them. Never traded binary. Okay, so never traded binary. It's where I'm trading at the moment. Um, so binary options, the way they work is uh, they pretty much make trading a yes or no decision. Um, and by making the trading decisions a yes or no decision, it really takes a lot, for me, a lot of the uh, constant mental analysis that a linear trade takes where, you know, as the market moves up or as the market moves down, you need to constantly reevaluate whether to cut the decision or let it ride for profits, which is something, you know, traders will always struggle with whether to hold on to a winner or how soon to cut a loser. By making trading a yes or no decision, you really eliminate a lot of that a psychological um, battle that we all have as traders when holding positions, and that'll never end. Um, but we're going to go over a little bit about that. And uh, the favorites, my favorite trade setup I use, I have six setups that I, I use, and there's one that I used just actually the other day. Um, it ended up working out. We're going to go over that setup. It's called the charge trade if you haven't seen that. Uh, but a couple questions in here. Um, is your system scalable? Well, we'll get into, of course, all systems are scalable to a point, but yes, could you run hundreds of millions of dollars on it? Absolutely not. Um, could you run it your own personal money? Absolutely. Um, so binary options, they're the perfect product for a technical analyst. Uh, the simplicity of the options brings it down to a yes or no decision with small starting capital. So if you have small starting capital, uh, with $100 or less, like I started my account with $250. So it's, it's relatively a good product if you want to begin day trading without the regulatory restrictions of the pattern day trading rule. I'm sure many of you are aware of the pattern day trading rule, which says that if, unless you have more than 25 grand uh, in your stock or options account, you're only allowed to make three day trades in a five-day rolling period. So there's no a pattern day trading rule for options. So that allows you to, one, start with a small amount and also the frequency of the event. So the options are going to, you know, they're going to have option strikes all day long, which is a really big advantage. And not just the end of the week, like traditional options. So, you know, you might have a setup in the morning and we all know how much the market changes from day to day. I like to trade today. I don't want an option that's a week or two out. I want an option that's today. So, that's really how it breaks it down. It gives you a lot more options to for framing the trade the way you want it set up. So I, I, I think all of these this combination of everything here is what allowed me to do the return that I did in such a short period of time. Also, the fact that every trade I entered was either double my money or more, which helps. So time exit as well. This is uh, my little traveling setup.
which I'm currently on right now. Um, so binary options, let's talk about how they work. Uh, Nadex binary options are limited risk contracts based on a simple yes or no market proposition like will the markets go up by the end of the trading week. Binary options offer traders a way to trade the most active stock indices, commodities, forex, event, and Bitcoin markets with relatively low collateral. Um, binary options are cash settled contracts with an all or nothing payout left till expiration. So cash settled means that the money is immediately deposited in your account amongst the settlement. There's no T plus three or T, T plus one like there is with traditional uh, trading. Um, unless you're on a margin account, you usually have to wait for that money to clear through the uh, brokerage and then get put in your account either, either the following day or three days later if you don't have a margin account for a traditional option. So that that's kind of one of the big advantages here is that as soon as the option expires, uh, whether it's at the end of the day or in the middle of the day, the money is immediately either deposited or debited from your account and then you can proceed to trade the next setup you see rather than waiting for the money to come into your account. Um, if the contract of the if the condition of the contract is achieved, the settlement value is going to be 100. If the condition is not achieved, settlement value is going to be zero. So it is possible to close a contract prior to expiration, either take profits or cut losses. Uh, and then on the right hand side, this is what a Nadex order ticket looks like. Nadex order tickets are going to, uh, one at the top, they're going to tell you the price at which we're trading. So in this case, from the screenshot, it was 19.48. And then you will have a strike price, which you're betting on. You know, I talked about the market's a yes or no option. We, we turn the market from being, you know, in traditional options, you say, oh, well, I think we're going to rally two points. That's what the market maker move is. This is just, am I going to be above? Am I going to be below? And so that makes it a lot simpler to just say, am I going to be above? Am I going to be below? Rather than, am I going to be above by 10 points? Or am I going to be below by 15? Uh, really just, you know, I look, I always look at the closest level to where we're trading and then I decide, are we going higher or are we going lower based on my technical analysis and then combine my setups with that. In, the, in this, you can see where the max loss is 50 and the max profit is 50. Anytime you buy or sell a contract at 50, your max loss is going to equal your max profit. So it's a risk one to make one. I always am putting myself in an option situation where I'm at least risking one to make one uh, all the way up to risk one to make three. So uh, it is also possible to close a contract prior to expiration to either take profits or cut losses. So that's something you guys should know. Some some binary options, they don't let you close before the, the uh, expiration time, but Nadex is an active market and you can trade in and out of the position just like you would any other instrument that trades on the market. Um, so why Nadex? First of all, limited risk. The maximum amount of money you can lose on every trade is your original investment. Although that might sound silly for a lot of people who have been either margin called or, for example, the person uh, who was short KBIO, what was it, like six, nine months ago. Now, um, he, like, I don't know if you guys remember that guy was short KBIO. He ended up owing uh, E-Trade, like over 100 grand. I mean, could you imagine what the cost of that would be. I mean, to, to like to owe your brokerage account 100 grand. Well, that's a huge deal. So owing your brokerage account 100 grand is not something you'll ever use, ever situation you want to be in. Also, with this recent Brexit event, I'm sure a lot of people trading currencies potentially had a lot more uh, leverage in their account and ended up owing the brokerage more than they had. So by having limited risk contracts, you're taking yourself out of that potential black swan situation, even though. You know, that might only happen once in your lifetime. It's something you would never want to happen once in your lifetime. So uh, there are also short-term contracts ranging expirations from 20 minutes to one week. When I have the opportunity to choose between 20 minutes, the next hour, two hours from now, end of the day, one week, I am deciding what products I want to trade. The, the exchange is not deciding for me, right? I think with traditional options, and, and I'll show you how the pricing works, in traditional options, the market is deciding what you get to trade because there's only they're only giving you a few options. But with binaries and with Nadex, we're getting a, a new option every hour, every 20 minutes, every day, and and that is really the advantage here. It almost puts it's like putting the consumer in charge, putting putting the retail trader in charge rather than having the market makers, uh, you know, deciding what they want to keep liquid and what they don't. But 
My favorite part about binary options is that you know when profit or loss will be based on our prices. Um, I think, and I used to trade traditional options probably last time I did it actively was 2013. And one of the things I personally always struggled with as a traditional options trader was when to take profit, uh, you know, when, when to cut the loss, you know, you, that 200% winner that turned into a 1200% winner, that's something that never gets out of your mind. With binary options, I know that I am, there's a maximum amount I can make regardless of how far it goes. So it keeps me from like making those psychological mistakes of either holding on too long and being extremely greedy and just knowing that at the end of the time expiration, my contract is going to expire. I'm either going to get paid or I'm not, and that's the end of it. I'm not hoping for a bigger move or holding on to this like loss as it goes against me, which to me as a trader, eliminating as much psychological uh, decisions I have to make, it, it, I'm going to be more effective on what I know best, which is price analysis, pattern trading, and that's what I teach, and that's what I'm teaching you guys here in the next few slides. We're going to go over a really cool setup, and it actually triggered yesterday, and so you probably, it might trigger later. It triggers a lot more in volatile markets, um, so this is a very clean setup, and you guys will be able to use it potentially next week or even tomorrow. Um, I teach price action, price action is king, and price is unfortunately, besides what anybody else will tell you, price is the only thing that pays. If anybody else says you're different, they're lying. If you're wrong on price, you're wrong. That's it. Simple enough. Uh, binary options are the best product for price action traders. So if anybody would like to follow along as I go through these trades, I'm going to put in a link here and you will be able to uh, get a, a Nadex account. So if you guys look in the chat, you'll be able to uh, sign up for an ADEX account. Uh, but trading lots, commission and cost structure, trading lots, the, the fees the fees are going to be, uh, so I'm going to compare this to Scott Trade. So 1 to 10 lots is going to be $0.90 cents per lot capped at $9. Now let's compare that to Scott Trade. Um, Scott Trade is going to be $7 plus $1.25 a contract, and that's on any option. So we're just comparing... Now, they're structured a little differently, but from a cost commission structure, they're going to be cheaper. Uh, lots 11 and above have no additional fees. Expiration times are given in Eastern Standard Time, and spreads are where the market makers are going to have their edge offers, and bids are always 5 to 200. So I saw a question in here earlier, what's the liquidity? Is there slippage? There is always so there's no there's no high frequency traders that see your orders. So I mean I, I've traded prop before, so I know the evil of high frequency trader. There's say there's you know a thousand on the offer and I go to hit it and all of a sudden they're gone and I'm filled on half and the rest half at a higher price. That does not happen in Nadex. The bids and offers that are posted are always there and they're good. So if you place an order and there's two hundred um on the offer and you buy those 200, you, there's, it's not like you're going to fill 100 and the price is going to move up. Those contracts are, that are posted in the bidder offer are always good. And um, that is really the biggest thing. And then I see a question here, is there time decay in these options? Ernest, if you're buying out of the money options, there is going to be time decay. But if you, are, if you buy an option, um, and we'll go over an example a little bit later, but say if, if you buy an option that's in the money, and we close whether it's a tick or one point above, you are going to make that money. The bid and the ask is going to be the market maker's advantage. So it is, it's not a product that I actively trade. Like it's not a product that you would ever scalp. The bid and ask can be as close as $3 or as wide as 6 uh, and that's on a hundred a hundred dollars. So I I don't actively trade in and out of it. I'm kind of looking to pick my level and really double my money. And if it goes against me, cut my loss. Uh, so traditional options are complicated. I think uh, like a group of lemmings, everyone's on the bandwagon. No one's really thinking for themselves. I really don't know why any everybody trades traditional options personally. I think they're pushed by the brokerage houses who generate probably the most significant amount of the commissions from active options traders. But I've being an educator, I've heard some horror stories from uh, people that trade traditional options, and me, myself, I have my own horror stories from trading traditional options. I've both made and lost six figures in a day trading traditional options, so I, I know what it's like to trade traditional options in some serious size. 
Um, and I just don't like them anymore. I've moved away from them. I'm a futures trader and I'm a binary trader, and that's just what I choose to do. And you're all welcome to your own opinions, but you know, through my own trend and trial, this is the conclusion I've come to. The first four things a person needs going to need to be able to compete when trading traditional options: on the fly, delta, gamma, theta, vega, volatility versus historical volatility. Now, if you guys can do all that on the fly, awesome. Go ahead, trade your traditional options. Me, personally, I'm not that much of a genius. I focus on price action, and I do not need to know or do not want to be calculating the Greeks at the same time when figuring out my position because with the traditional option, you know, might be right on price, but you could be wrong at the end of the day. And that's really the biggest thing with binaries versus traditional options. If you're right on price, it does not matter because price is what pays versus options if you're right on price you could potentially not get paid. Now, Bernard Baruch, I don't know how many of you guys study uh, history of the market, but this guy was an amazing speculator back in the day, a very wealthy individual, made his money in the markets, but famous quote by him goes, if a speculator is correct half of the time, he is hitting a good average. Even being right three or four times out of 10 should yield a person a fortune if he has the sense to cut his losses quickly on ventures where he is wrong. That is trading in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. So remember that replay, etc., cetera, um, and whatnot. A couple of questions in here. Do major houses uh, like binary options trade binary? No, they do not. Uh, only Nadex. So Nadex is the only CFTC regulated broker, and that is, uh, if you're looking to get a demo account, that's you can sign up through that link. Um, it's a Nadex link, and you can sign up for their a program, they'll send you a demo account. You can, you know, start trading it tomorrow after I teach you these setups. But you, there's nowhere to buy uh, these options except through the only regulated broker in the United States. Uh, you don't want to mess with unregulated brokers because we all know that can end bad. Okay, next slide here. So let's let's talk about when trading isn't simple. I'm going to show you an example of the S&P futures contract, and then we're going to compare it to uh, the same trade in the, the in Nadex. So we're going to talk, we're looking at the 2120 strike. So this is a 2120 strike in the ES futures using um, the traditional options product. So multiply the cost. The cost of this contract is $300 and the price needed, this is a big thing, the price needed for 100% return on investment on the if I buy 2120 and I and I want to double my money, I need a move all the way to 2032 or an expiration of 14 points in the ES. So I need the ES here to move 14 points in my favor to double my money. Now using um, using traditional or using uh, where is it using um, binary options, I only need. Oops, that slide is gone. I, well, in, in, in this specific case, I remember it when I wrote it, but in, in using binary options, I only needed a three-point move in my favor to double my money on the 2120 strike versus the S&P futures. If I were to buy the S&P futures options, I would have needed a 14-point. And that is like, when I, when I did that $250 and 18 grand, really the difference was not necessarily, I mean, my trading's good, don't get me wrong, I mean, my trading's great, I'm a great trader, but this product is, you know, the way we use it is really what is revolutionary about this type of trading. Making trading a simple yes or no equation. Um, the commission comparison, open and closing. So this is this is a screenshot of a 54 lot I took. Uh, this is actually a screenshot from the video when I had taken $250 and 18 grand. Um, but this is a 54 lot I had on uh, during that during that run and. Opening and closing a 54 lot on a traditional options account is going to cost about $74 per slide, per side. Uh, opening and closing a 54 lot in Nadex is going to cost nine. So think about the price difference there. I mean, you're talking $150 versus 18 on both sides between the two different accounts. I mean, that is massive, absolutely massive difference in how much you're going to get. Um, you're going to get billed for placing a trade. So one of my favorite six setups here is a charge trade, and this is occurs on. This actually happened yesterday, uh, and I got paid on it, made about a thousand dollars. But 
it's going to occur on the days when market is trending. Uh, the trigger is the third close of the 15-minute bar. The first three 15-minute bars must all be red or all be green. So this is where you're going to want to get out your pen and paper and actually come in and write this stuff down for any of you who already knew what Nadex was and were waiting to hear a little bit more about this setup. Get your pen and paper out. This is what we're going to be going over right now. Yes, Tony, it's a zero-sum game. Zero-sum game, Nadex is the exchange. They are not the market makers, so they do not have the, uh, they do not trade against you. They don't have the risk. They make their money um, just by, you know, commissions like any other brokerage house were, and then they have independent market makers um, that run. And I think they used to actually have some backing by the CBOE. I'm not sure if they sold their stake or what. Um, so let's get a little deeper into this setup. What you're going to want to do is every day the market opens, and this is a trade to look for, I have an indicator built up. <coughs> Excuse me. I have an indicator that actually looks for it for me, which is awesome, but um, the first three 15-minute bars are going to need to either be all red or all green. And Ever, anybody know what a Fibonacci retracement is? Anybody you ever you know use fibs? I'm sure they're, they're pretty popular. People use them different ways. I, I have my own style of using them, um, but you know this is a pretty basic one that I teach. Uh, you know, re re real low entry, and then it gets a lot more sophisticated. You know, as you move up in your in your trading skill set. This is a this is the stuff I actually learned from the hedge fund traders I work with out of Chicago. Um, but yeah, fibs. Yeah, I mean, I see a couple of people saying they, they know how to use them, but And then you're going to look for the closest Nadex strike at the 50% retracement. So that's your entry. So you got a, you got three. So 45 minutes into the day, you're going to need three all green or all red moves. And then you can draw a low to a high. You buy that, buy or sell the 50% retracement. And then uh, I'll go one to two hours out for one one of the strikes. And so what I'll do is I'll hedge my risk. I'll place one strike, one trade, one to two hours out no less than 45 minutes and then the other trade I'll take is actually at the end of the day so if I'm risking I'm risking multiples of a hundred I put fifty dollars on one trade one to two hours out fifty dollars at the end of the day in multiples of a hundred so on and so forth uh, and, and then the other the other criteria for this trade is uh, you want it to be a gap so you want it to be a gap up or gap down because that that's when the market shakes out especially larger gaps uh, that's when everybody is offsides and uh, the market really needs to adjust its price because a lot happened in the overnight. So we'll go to the next slide and I'll show you a little bit more what this looks like. Question here, do you trade trickling Nadex or do you also trade futures indices, IS, ES, YM, and QTF? Thank you. Um, that is a very good question, Michael. I actually trade the ES futures specifically. I watch the other ones, but I trade uh, in my trading room, which I trade... Every day that I'm not on vacation, which I'm actually on vacation right now, so I'm doing this from a laptop, but uh, I trade live in my room, which I don't know if any of you guys have ever been part of a live trading room where they actually execute the orders in real time, not after the fact in front of you. But, yeah, I do trade live in my trading room, which I'll give you guys an opportunity to check out uh, at the end of this webinar. But back to this trading setup. So, what? okay, what do we have here? We have a gap up one, two, three, 15 minute red bars. Then my next step is to find the 50% retracement mark for the day. At this case, it was in 1933. I am looking to sell the closest Nadex strike one to two hours out as well as the end of the day. So this position, when I had taken it, this is a, during my run had led to a, a very big profit was 100%, 100% gain in you know a few hours. So th these are the types of trades I look for. Um, and this is one of the setups. Like I said, this is a charge trade setup. I have five more setups. We'll go. We'll go in a little more detail about this setup. You can see here, same setup, but to the upside. Still in the ES. Gap up. 
one, two, three bars to the upside, all green, boom. That's my trigger. I'm looking for a 50% retracement. As soon as we get to that 50% retracement, all I'm doing is I'm placing an order that says we will be above. I don't know how far above. I just know that as we come into that first touch, that's going to be a support, and I can manage my risk on that level. So as we come into 1903s there, I says we will be above 1903 in two hours. We will be above 1903 at the end of the day, and that is how I place my trade, which in this case leads to 100% profit, which is really cool. Can you trade binaries with after hours expirations? The, yes, you can trade binary with after hours expressions, uh, I'm sorry, expirations, but the products will change. So you can actually trade the Nikkei, which is kind of cool. That's the Japanese market. You can also go into the currency markets. Uh, those are going to be the more active ones in the after hours, but also the the dailies are going to uh, the dailies are tradable in the after hours. However, they do not expire in the after hours. But you can't trade in and out of them like you would be able to do another product. Max profit always comes. Max profit or max loss always comes at expiration. Now this is that same setup, but in the Russell. So this is a setup. Like I said, it's going to work across a couple of different asset classes. Occasionally, if you know, I'll even use it in stocks if I am just kind of bored and you know the market's not moving. I'll just look for this setup. But you have you know one, two, three bar down, all red, pull fifty percent of trading back. All I'm saying is in the end of two hours and at the end of the day, we're gonna be below ten, twelve. Boom. Simple enough. If I'm correct, I receive profit. If I'm wrong, I receive loss. In this case, it's a profitable trade. Um, but once again, let's go back over those rules. You're gonna to want to pick a time strike at the end of the day, four fifteen. An hourly strike, one to two hours out, no less than 45 minutes. I think with less than 45 minutes, you're not really giving the uh, market enough time to like react to the level. So I just look to go a little bit out in case it does move against me. I'll take off the position for as close to break even as I as I can based on what my market read is and how you know if it did if the level did break if support did break how am I getting out right? So we always want to manage our risk because every winner is a hundred percent winner right? So if, if our losers can you know if we're not letting it just you know lose everything we can you know stick around for the winning trades. Um, so one of the things I actually developed based on this setup is a proprietary charge trade indicator that now actually just tells me that it's happening. So I don't even I don't even look for it anymore. I mean, I have so much going on during the day. I'm trading the ES. Sometimes I forget to place the orders on the Nadex as well. So I decided I'm like, man, I need an indicator for this. I want to be able to just see it happen without thinking twice. And so I created an indicator. At least I I didn't create it. I hired a guy to create it. Cost me a pretty penny, but I had it done. Uh, you know, pays for itself in time. But just like any other investment in life, you gotta you gotta spend money to make money, right? Nobody ever makes money not spending money. That's or you know, risking money at some point. But uh, what what the indicator does, and I'll show you guys this is really cool. Uh, I'll make it available to you guys as well. But the trade type is uh, it's gonna tell you the trade type. I either is it a long trade or a short trade. It's going to give you the stop criteria of the trade as well as the entry. And then for the exit, you're going to want to uh, exit either on time, which is at the end of the expiration, or you can look for previous high or negative 23% FIB targets, which I teach in my class. So previous high, uh, negative 23% FIB targets. Obviously, uh, some of you guys might know a little bit about FIBs, but um, I'll show you what a negative 23% FIB target is if you've never heard of that. Anybody ever heard of a negative 23% FIB target? Yes, no, maybe so. Um, so this is indicator is going to show up at the close of the third 15-minute bar. So let's go to that. This is what it looks like. So you get so it, like I said, the criteria for the trade is you get three bars to the upside, and you see you see this is MLT charge trade long. Right here, so it'll come up with a line. I'll throw that line right on my chart and just tell me, hey, start looking. And it'll give you my target buy. I'll say target buy in your 2049. You can see this right here. So it says 2049 quarter is a target buy. We traded 2049 quarters to the tick in this case. Um, and, and I decided to pick up a uh, binary options contract that said we'd be over 2050 as we got up towards the highs. That was my exit on this trade. But it'll give you your stop and uh, the fact that it's triggered well. So it's a really cool indicator that I've built based on this specific trade. Now I, ha I do have five more trades 
Right now, I have built an indicator for one of them. I'm working on fixing out the bugs. There's a couple more bugs, and then I'm going to release that into the program. And then I'm trying to get them all actually just build indicators for all of them. But um, right now, I have one completely done. Number two is in the works, and then three and so on. So here's another example. We have the charge trade trigger long. So this is right across the stop, the top. Blah. And then uh, see this is MLT charge trade long. Okay, so that's telling me, okay, I need to start looking for a buy zone. My target buy 2086.50. I mean, it's literally giving me the exact level. Well, let's take a look. Where do we go here? We go to 2086s, uh, actually 2086 quarter. So I'm like off a tick right there. So if we go trade 2086 quarter, the target buy is 2086 half. So whether you're a futures trader, a spy trader, a spy options trader, a Nadex trader, this is an indicator that you could put in your toolbox. I actually not not only do I use this for um, for Nadex, but I actually use it for my futures trading as well, and I'll use it in my futures trading uh, room. So give me the stop, etc. Let's go to the next slide. You can see come down. We go a couple more ticks in. We trade 80, 86. That's two ticks off. You can see MLT chart trade long, chart trade triggered, gives me the buy, and then so on and so forth. Very cool stuff. Um, another example, charge trade long. You can see it on the left-hand side. And then this is what I was talking about, that target. For those of you who don't know what a negative 23% profit target is, that's this green line up here. So that's what I'll be looking to take as we move into the new high. I mean, you've got to be taking it off at some point. Uh, you can you can choose to hold it into the end of the day. I base it off of the current market trend. Like if it's a counter trend trade uh, and we've been selling off and also we're going long, it might be something to want to take off towards the highs. Or if we're just in full out, you know, blast mode and we're going to new all time highs, then it's something I'm going to leave on. I'm going to hold that for that full profit. But you know, as traders, we do have to uh, be aware of you know taking at least partial profits in trades and not letting them come back against us for losses because we all know that that sucks. Um, so. Putting ideas into action every day and what I do every day. So every day I create a trade plan. I know uh, the levels of support and resistance and I am aware of market moving events. And I formulate an opinion of the trend. I do a trade plan every single day for my trading room and my trading members. I do that live. I make a video. This on the right hand side is actually a um, a custom grid that I create for my members every single day. On the left hand side, for any of you guys who ever trade Nadex, you've never seen this before. On the left hand side, the Nadex strikes for the day, I put them on the Thinkorswim chart. I'm not a fan of Nadex charts, I am a fan of Thinkorswim charts. So, what I've done is I've actually built a code inside of Thinkorswim that tells me Nadex's strikes on the left hand side, and then on the right hand side, that's all also my custom code. I have the settlement the value areas, the RTH highs, R1s, etc. So that the, these are the things I'm looking at every day to make my trading decisions. I want as much information as possible and I want it on a daily basis. So every day in my trade room I actually give this study out. It's updated every day uh, with the new daily strikes as well as the new information from the previous day's close that provides the value areas, provides the RTH high provides the overnight lows and provides the R1. So that's all important things. You have to have a trade plan. If you guys don't make a trade plan every day, I encourage you to get into the habit of making trade plans um, or at least you know, come watch my trade plan because my trade plan is pretty good. Um, but why traders fail? They trade products they don't understand. They also don't know the exact max risk and the exact max reward. So they're creating psychological confusion by trading Products where they just don't get like a, you know, they're got like a butterfly, broken wing butterfly, some kind of like short strangle option spread, another stock, and there's just like way too much going on. You, you can't complicate things. Focus on one product. I have six setups that I use. I combine them with those indicators that I just showed you, and I focus on one thing because all you need, the best traders I know, they trade one product. They're specialists. You don't find somebody just going off on like 20 different products. You find people that are incredibly good at one thing and they do it over and over and over and over and over and they're consistent and if you're not consistent, you need to go back, rethink the way you want to trade your system and focus on one thing. So that's what I've done personally and I've done it on the S&P 500. You're more than welcome to pick your own product to trade, but at least learn the setups that I teach, right? 
um, because I have been using them and they've made me successful. And I want to show you guys them as well. Uh, don't pay attention to lagging momentum indicators. All of my indicators are price based. I never look at momentum indicators. I think they're silly. If you're good at them, fine. But MACD never made anybody a million bucks is my uh, famous line I like to say. But uh, the reaction to price and planning a trade is a lot better. If you guys are guilty of chasing up, if you guys are guilty of chasing down, don't worry. I think we all are. We can all raise our hands at our desk right now and just say, yeah, I've done that before, and uh, it's cost me money. Um, you know, you slap yourself on the wrist. You can't be doing that stuff. Uh, and these are all reasons why traders fail, and these are, these are the things that, you know, I've been coaching trading for a while, so I'm able to really kind of see the flaws of newer traders along with going through them myself. I mean, you know, nobody's born a, nobody's born a great trader. I mean, great traders become great traders become through hard work. Um, so the question I have for you guys is, are you willing to take the steps to change your trading habits for increased profits? On the right-hand side of my slideshow, you see a stack of books. Now, I'm actually currently uh, on vacation right now, and I'm sitting in a library because this is the only place that has internet connection anywhere nearby, and I'm surrounded by books. But I'll tell you what, no books on trading ever taught me how to make money. Simply put, plenty gave me inspiration, plenty gave me some psychological advice, but none of them ever focused on like hardcore setups. I'm a visual learner. You guys are all probably visual learners. That's why you're here you're watching this trading video, and you're paying attention because you guys learn at the visual level. So four steps to trading profitably. First of all, trade a product with risk and reward known at entry. Eliminate the psychological mistakes by reducing complexity. Define setups that will occur every day in the trading room. Now, I have setups that will occur every day in the trading room. In fact, I have six of them. I showed you guys one of those setups today. And uh, I'm going to show you guys five more for anybody who are, anybody who is interested. <laughs> Anybody who is interested, I keep these uh, setups on my desk, and actually, you know, I have them on my desk, and I do like looking at them. I do like looking at them. So if you guys like want to look at like a, it's a, I call it like a cheat sheet. I call it like a cheat sheet. So I like every day, um, you know, even though I have these things absolutely memorized in my head, it's always important because you know how how many times have you been in a trade and you're like, oh man, like is this that trade? And you always want to go back and like make sure like. That is the setup you're focusing on, uh, and, and so so I keep these these setups. I have six of them that I put out. But my story with this strategy is in December I took two hundred fifty dollars and eighteen thousand to typo. I literally have all of it recorded. You've seen PL shots throughout this entire session. There's another one on the right. And uh, for anybody who wants to email in support at majorleaguetrading.com, we can send you that video. If you don't believe me, go ahead. You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are skeptical. Two hundred fifty dollars and eighteen grand, no freaking way, man. Like that's way too much money. Three weeks, nobody does that. We can send you the video if you want. You know, I don't I don't like put it all over the internet, it is on the internet, but I will send you the video, email me, support at majorleaguetrading.com for some inspiration and uh, a little bit of education in that video as well. I recorded every single trade, I used six setups, those are the setups I teach, I was able to achieve a 5,000% return in 13 days and um, the setups are the charge, which I just showed you, which has an indicator built into it, and then I have five more that I use, halfway back, bully, dive, leg start, flunk. Simply put, they're all named. Uh, they're named for organizational purposes in my own brain because if I'm not organized in my own head, I'm not going to be organized anywhere else in my life. Even though you know things can get crazy, but uh, that's why I have six of them. They, they, I mean, they occur within a sequence every single day. I don't need 25 setups. I don't need to know, you know, the candlestick colors, the MACD momentum, blah blah blah. I just need to focus on price, and then I need to find the best product associated with price. And for me, that has become Nadex. So, with that. My best six setups to trade Nadex. This is what you're going to get in my master course. The best six setups I use to trade Nadex. Uh, discipline to focus on the one product that pays. Strategies to simplify your trading. I'm all about simplifying trading. I don't think you know making trading complicated is a good idea. I, I've tried it. I mean, it, I failed at making trading complicated. So I've moved back to simplifying it. And also, for one month, if you guys choose to join my trade room, you're going to get a real-world daily trade plan to define, execute, and manage your trades and an opportunity to watch me trade live. I trade futures in my room. I don't trade Nadex in my room. I do trade futures in the room. I'll talk about levels that are associated with Nadex, but it's all the same product. It's all the same instrument. And this is a course I'm offering for the first 50 traders on demand immediately at $197. 
and then you are going to be able to uh, have the option to just join my room. It'll say right after you buy it, do you want to join the room or not? Uh, this is a lifetime membership, so anybody who's wondering, oh, like, do I have to pay again? The, the Nadex is a lifetime membership. With that, uh, I think the room is like a dollar for the first month. You can cancel it any time after that. And then if you, you know, if, if you want to continue with us, which probably you will want to continue with me because I'm the only person out there that I know that actually trades a live account in front of people showing their orders and executions. So you're probably going to want to stay with me. But if you don't, um, you're more than welcome to cancel at any time. We have no problem just saying, hey, you know, best luck with all our trading. We hope you learned a bunch, but you will still have access to the Nadex course. So once you get the Nadex course, once you become part of the Major League Trading team, the Major League Trading membership, I'm going to ask you to print out the six setups. Now I showed you one here today, and you're going to be able to print that out. There's five more. I want you to print those out. Then you're going to want to go into, into the room and uh, into the course, and what you're going to see is you're going to see videos of me explaining how the setups work, videos of me of actually taking the trades with the setups that I explain, like, like live trades, real money. Um, and then I ask you to keep a journal of the setups you take, Track your results. I recommend if for, for anybody who's like completely new to Nadex and wants some practice, people always ask me, well, you know, what, what should I do to start practicing? I'll make 36 trades, whatever. That's just my number. Take 36 trades, mark everyone down, say, you know, all you say is bully, leg start, halfway back. You got six trades and you got to take, you know, if you take 36, you decide maybe you took 10 bullies, three halfway backs, and you'll find out maybe one of those trades, for whatever reason, you're way better at trading. I encourage you to really, really, really track that stuff because that's what's going to help you. Uh, with your trading career. Um, and also before every trade, ask yourself, what is a trend? Where is major support resistance? What is risk reward? You're going to get all of the simplified answers here at MLTNADEX.com to the first 50 people only. So with that, I will take um, any questions here. One of the questions here, can you explain again what you do in your trading room? So every day, Robert, um, I come in and I create a morning trade plan at 8 o'clock, 8.15 in the morning. I produce a video, and then we have a custom, if you remember the earlier video, I have a custom, um, it, it's a custom script through Think, Thinkorswim that actually provides you the daily levels for Nadex. Those daily levels for Nadex are, uh, the, 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 they're like they put it on your chart because the Nadex charts, they're kind of like, I would say like, very minimal, um, and I like to have a little more data on my charts, look back a little further. So I take the Nadex strikes, I actually put them on the Thinkorswim chart so I can visually see them better, and then I define all of these levels, create a morning trade plan, talking about my strategy, the way I teach, and that's so in that morning. The bell rings, I become a trader, I start to focus on the market, there's a chat to participate in, I'll answer questions. I'm not talking the whole time. I'm not a big, like, I'll talk, like, after the market, I'll talk when I see something important. I'm not going to sit there and blab all day just to talk. Levels, I break down my analysis, and I trade live on my screen every day. That's what I do. The monthly charge for the trading room after the first the first month, I do, after, got it, after you buy the course, it's either a dollar or seven dollars, um, and then that's for 30 days. You can cancel at any time, hassle free, um, and then after that, it's it's a hundred dollars a month. Earl, I the only indicators I use are price indicators. I don't use any momentum indicators. So it's just it's just things that are just defining price to me. It's telling me. Overnight high, point of control, they're all straight lines. None of them are lagging momentum indicators. All they do are tell me specific price points based on mathematical criteria that I've determined to be significant that is correlated with the um, teachings of my trading education. Um, so let, let me talk about a little more what's actually in this product. You get my best six setups to trade in $197 value. The MLT proprietary charge trade indicator, $397. Um, you're going to get an ES, my chart trade software, ES tutorial grid, uh, and I'll show you how to use Thinkorswim. If you've never used Thinkorswim, and I mean, it's it's hands down, I think, the best charting, uh, and you're going to get, we're going to go over a tutorial that. You're going to get a month of the trading room if you decide to, you know, decide to join that. And then once again, it's a lifetime access. So you purchase it once. I'm updating the course, you know, I'm updating the course every month. 
uh, I'm putting in new material, putting in new trades, actually working, like I said, I'm working on new indicators. And if you buy it now, um, you actually will never, like, as we get new indicators, the price of the course goes up because I have to pay to have these things made. So right now it's $197, but as I get the next couple indicators made, the price is going to go up just because I have to pay for these indicators I'm getting built. Um, but right now, your deal, first 50 people here, it's a $2,700 value, $197. Bucks. You're going to get to watch me trade live for a month. Forgive me, I'm on vacation until tomorrow. I will be back Thursday. Although I do still do the morning trade plan, I just don't trade all day. So forgive me if you come in tomorrow because I am still on vacation. I, plan, I w did not plan on Britain exiting the European Union when I booked this vacation, so please forgive me. Um, but it happens. We all can't predict it. You know, I'm, I'm a trader. I predict the future, right? I mean, that's what they say. Actually, it's just plain probabilities. Nobody can predict the future.